Assalamu alaikum. Welcome grade 7 students. I am Mahbub Murshid going to teach you a grammar lesson 19.5 direct objects page number 285 in your grammar and writing handbook. Lesson 19.5 direct objects. In order to know direct objects well, you have to know its definition first. A direct object is a noun or pronoun that receives the action of a transitive verb. In order to understand direct object, you must know what a transitive verb first to. Definition. A transitive verb is a verb that takes an object to complete its action and meaning. Remember that only transitive verb takes an object, not intransitive verb. A transitive verb can be found out if you ask the verb with the two question words, whom or what. If we look at the examples, it will be clear to you. Mother cooks food for us. So first of all, you have to find the verb in the sentence. The verb is cooks. Now, ask the verb cooks with cook what. Then the answer will be the food. Answer is food. So we can say that cook is the transitive verb and food is the direct object. Number two, they play cricket in the field. In the same way, first of all, you have to find out the verb in the sentence. Play is the verb. So ask the verb play, play what? And the answer will be cricket. So we can see that play is the transitive verb and cricket is the direct object in the sentence. In the third sentence, the teacher punished the unruly boy. Ask the verb punished with punish whom? Then the answer will be boy. Hence, we can say that punish is the transitive verb and boy is the direct object. In the fourth sentence, we can see that we included him in our group. Ask the verb included. Include what? Include whom? The answer will be him. So included is the transitive verb and him is the direct object. But remember boys and girls, if the verb is an intransitive verb, there must not be any object. For example, we sleep at night. If you ask the verb sleep, sleep what? There will be no answer. Hence, sleep is the intensity verb. They walk in the park. Ask the verb walk. Walk what? There will be no answer. Hence, the verb walk is an intensity verb. In the third sentence, the boy can run fast. Ask the verb run with what? Run what? There will be no answer, hence run is the intransitive verb. And in order to understand the direct object, you must have a good knowledge about the transitive and intransitive verb at the same time. If you don't know what is an intransitive verb, you cannot find out the transitive verb and direct object in the sentence. Well, uh, let's look at the examples exercise in page number 285. The first sentence says, in the 14th century, Martini, an Italian painter, designed a human propelled carriage on four wheels. So, if you find the verb, design is the verb, and if you ask the verb with design what, the answer will be carriage. carriage. So, design is the transitive verb, and carriage is the direct object. In the second sentence, However, the Greeks used wheels and cars as far back as the 8th century BC. In the second sentence, you have to find out the verb first, used is the verb, and ask it with used what. Now the answer will be wheels and curts. So we can infer that used is the transitive verb and wheels and curts are the direct object. 
I think and I hope that you have understood it well. But still, if you have any queries and questions, feel free to write in the in your respective class grade.